You're listening to The Ashley Lachlan Show. I'm Ashley, and I'm here to help you build a wildly successful and profitable business on social media. I created my own rags to riches story and built a seven figure business on social media in the midst of motherhood. And my passion is helping other female entrepreneurs do the same. I'm sharing my best marketing, mindset, and sales strategies to help you love the process and scale your business to six figures and beyond. Let's dive in. Hello, hello. So today's episode is for those of you who have been thinking of creating a course, but you talk yourself out of it because you're like, "Eh, maybe that's not for me, or who's even going to buy it? I don't have the time. Or those of you who keep hearing me talk about online courses, but you're like, I would love to do that, but I literally have nothing to teach. Well, I call bullshit. I truly believe that everybody has something to teach, something that others would benefit from. And so I want to really lay out the benefits of having an online course. If you want more information, if you're like, "Ah, you know, I really want help trying to figure out how this whole thing works, coming up with an idea, I do have a free training. It is my course idea to passive profits system, three steps for creating and selling a wildly profitable online course. It is about an hour and 15 minutes long and it's linked in the show notes. So you can click there, register, you can watch it right now or you can watch it later tonight when you have some wine, the kids are asleep, you got some silence. Um, But I highly recommend starting there if you are considering creating a course. But in today's episode, I am going to be laying out all the benefits and all the reasons why I'm always talking about online courses and why you should create an online course immediately. So this isn't one of my eight reasons, but I, it's kind of a bonus reason, but we all know the state of the economy right now. There's inflation. We are heading into a recession and the prices for everything are just ridiculous. But the online course industry isn't suffering. It is expanding. It is growing. And so now is the time to get in. And if you are looking to make more money Why not do it from your couch? Why not spend the time creating something once and then sell it over and over and over again instead of going out and being like an Uber driver or a DoorDash driver or an Instacart person? Like, who wants to go out and do those things? So if you're like, okay, I need to make more money, well, you need to do it. You need to create an online course. So let's go into the eight reasons why you want to do this. So number one is it allows you to be in complete control of your time and your schedule. So if you're working a nine to five or you're working a business where you know you need to be online during certain hours of the day or you're coaching and you have one-on-one calls or group calls all the time and you're chained to your desk and you're looking out your window, it's summer, you're like, oh, I wish I was out there. Well, you need an online course. So for me, you know, I used to work a normal job. I was a teacher and then I left and I was in network marketing. And in network marketing, one, I was recording workout videos and then editing them and posting them every single day. That's really what built my social media presence and my business. And that was an insane time suck to do that every single day. So I would be trapped inside. And the other part is that you have to mentor your team. You bring these team members on and then you have to mentor them. And of course, yes, I loved mentoring the ones who were go-getters and were ready to work. But in retrospect, I spent so much of my time on people who would then quit a week later, who would never do anything. And one day I remember looking outside and my my husband and my daughter were outside playing and I'm just sitting at my desk trapped inside and I was like, this sucks. Like I left my job to have freedom And here I am trapped to my desk all day, creating videos, editing videos, on calls with people, responding to emails. Something's got to change. And it wasn't until I had my second baby that I realized, okay, I need to create more passive income. And that's when I started online courses. 
And that has completely changed everything for me. So now I am in complete control of my time and my schedule. And I typically now work only three-ish hours a day. So I usually will start working at 1 p.m. And I will work until like 3, 3 3.30, 4 p.m. That's it every single day. So I have all morning with my kids and then all afternoon, like late afternoon and evening. And when I decide to do calls with people, it's on my terms. It's when it's it's convenient for me, not them. So another big part of network marketing was hosting these team calls, which would be at night. And so I missed a lot of bedtimes. And now I have a hard role of no evening phone calls at all. I do not do calls after 4 p.m. ever. So if you are somebody who's like, I want more free time and I don't want to have to be stuck to a rigid schedule, I don't want to be at my desk all the time, when you create a course, you create it once and then it's done. So it's not like you're create recording and editing videos every single day. You literally do that once over the span of maybe a month and it doesn't have to be every single day and then you're done. And so your course sells while you're off playing with your kids or traveling or doing whatever you want to do. The second benefit is that online courses allow you to protect your energy, which is huge. So when you create a course, as I said, you create it once and then you sit back as it sells and everything is really automated and passive. So particularly in my courses, I really rely on evergreen funnels where someone watches a pre-recorded webinar or masterclass and I teach on that class and then I pitch them my course and then they buy. So when you are DMing people and you're spending so much ch- time chit-chatting with people or you're talking through email or you're doing sales calls, you become so emotionally exhausting and you become so invested in these conversations because you're spending so much time chatting with people and then when they don't buy or they ghost you you become so defeated and so when you show up every day and this happens day after day you know your energy gets drained and when you have to get on calls with people every day and coach them You know, you might be somebody who loves and thrives off of coaching, or you may be somebody like me who I enjoy coaching the right people, but it's not something I want to do all day, every day. So having online courses that one, sell themselves, and two, don't require me to be coaching people every day really protects my energy and my joy and my happiness so that I can show up on social media the best with the best version of me. I can be the best version of me to my children and to my husband. I can be the best version of me to my students when I go into our Facebook group to answer questions. I can be the best version of me when I do get on calls because I haven't been on calls all day. And I'm showing up with the energy and the excitement for that specific call. The third benefit is cash injections. So when you launch a course, when you live launch a course, there are three different types of launches. You can beta launch, you can live launch, and you can evergreen launch. And I go through these three different types of launches in my free training. So I highly recommend going and watching that. But when you live launch, people are enrolling within a certain time period. There is urgency because the cart is closing. It's not something that's open for enrollment all year long. So people are buying in a short period of time. And so you're making a lot of sales within a week or two weeks or however long your card is open for. So you're making a nice cash injection. Now, some people prefer to live launch consistently. So two to three times a year, they will live launch their program. The rest of the time, the rest of the year, nobody can enroll. So what happens is they'll make a lot of money at one launch and that that launch, that cash injection will sustain them over the next few months. And then they live launch again. They bring in a lot of cash and then they that money sustains them until their next launch. So 
if you are like, okay, I would love to have a huge surge of money and I'd like it to be on my terms. Like I'd like to determine, oh, I would love to launch in October and make a ton of money to pay for all of our Christmas gifts, right? You have the ability to do that, to set the times and the dates of when you are going to launch and bring in all of that money. The fourth benefit is recurring profits. So this is when you have people on payment plans and you can have a three, six, 12 month payment plan. And what's nice is when people pay on a payment plan, you are guaranteed income over the lifespan of that payment plan. So there are some people who really encourage pay in full and there, there are benefits to pay in full. So that's why I always have a pay in full bonus. If you pay in full, there's something extra or special you get. But I don't always urge everybody to do that. One, because I know people need payment plans. But two, I like having the consistent income, the recurring income month after month from payment plans. I like being able to look ahead and say, next month I have $10,000 coming in from payment plans from this one course. So really, you know, I don't even have to sell anything because I have this money coming in, coming in, it's guaranteed. Additionally, with payment plans, you are actually making more money because you're charging more. So it's basically like financing a course. So if you were to go to a car dealership and buy a car in cash that day, pay in full, you're going to pay less than if you are to get a five-year car loan because of interest. So over the course of those five years, sure, you're paying a little bit every month, but at the end, you've actually paid a lot more. So the same goes for payment plans. And the reason you charge more on a payment plan is because you are taking the risk. You are saying, I will give you this course, you can access it now, and I expect you to pay me over the course of 12 months. And because I am assuming that risk and that liability, I'm gonna charge more. There's going to be an interest rate for me financing it, for you financing it from me. And so you charge more. So you actually make more over the course of a payment plan. So recurring profits are really nice to have. The fifth benefit is passive income. So we've talked about this a little bit. This is primarily with the evergreen funnels and evergreen launches. Now, yes, recurring profits from payment plans, that's passive income. You worked for it once and now it's coming in. So it's not truly passive. I mean, nothing with an online course is truly, truly, truly passive because you have to spend the time setting it up. But the reason why I call it passive income is because after you set it up once, after you create the course once, after you set up your evergreen funnel, which is when somebody watches a pre-recorded webinar or a challenge, or they download something from you and then they buy without you being there live. You're not live on that webinar. You're not on the phone with them. You're not DMing them. You're sleeping, you're eating, you're traveling, you're with your kids, and they are somewhere in the world consuming your content and buying from you and you're getting the notification. So to me, that is passive income and that is incredible. There is no greater feeling than waking up and seeing new sale notifications. There is no greater feeling than sitting at your dinner table and getting a notification and telling your kids like, woohoo, we just made another sale while you're eating dinner or breakfast with your kids or while you're traveling. So online courses allow you the ability to work hard once to create your course and then sit back as the sales roll in and you can enjoy that passive income. The sixth benefit is that you can say no to things that drain you, things you don't want to do, which is so nice, especially when you have your course on the evergreen path. When it, you have a funnel set up, it's not like you have to be showing up on social media every single day. There are different ways to drive traffic to the top of your funnel so that people watch the webinar or consume whatever kind of pre-recorded, pre-created thing it is that's going to then sell your course. So if you're like, oh, I don't want to show up on social media today, you don't have to. If you're like, I don't want to do calls today, I, you don't have to. So you can say no to all of the things in business and life that you don't like. DMing people and being like, hey girl, what's your hobbies? You want to buy my course? No, you don't have to do that. And the seventh benefit is that you can say no to one-on-one -on -one clients. 
If you are somebody who love, love, loves one-on-one clients, great. It can be an upsell. So you can say, buy my course, but for an upcharge, you can get one-on-one access to me. You can actually do this. There's a few different, there's like a tiered system that I recommend. I've done this before where you could just buy the course. You could upgrade to the middle tier, which is the course plus a monthly membership, or you could upgrade to the third tier, the most expensive, which is where you get the course, the membership, and one-on-one access to me. And when you offer three options like that, most people will go to the middle. So you're actually just making more money anyway than if you were to just have one cheap option. But if you are somebody who's like, I really want to have more one-on-one at one time with my clients and I really enjoy coaching, you can have the one-on-ones be an upsell to your course or your course is a prerequisite. People have to go through your course before they can hire you one-on-one because then you're not repeating the same basic stuff over and over again. They've got it in the course and now they're ready for the next level, the higher level mentorship that you can deliver. So if that's, that's if you love one-on-one coaching. But if you're like, I don't really want one-on-one clients or one-on-one coaching, I it causes me a lot of stress, it's a time suck, I don't want that. You don't have to do that with online courses, which is great. People can message you and say, hey, do you offer one-on-one mentorship? And you can say, no, I don't do anything one-on-one. Here's the link to my course. Here's how you can learn my ways, learn my methods, get my quote unquote mentorship, but it's all through my course. And then the eighth benefit is that online courses allow you to scale your income without trading hours for dollars. So in most businesses, If you want to make more money, you have to put in more time, right? A normal job, like a cop wants to make more money, well, they have to pick up overtime shifts. Same with a nurse. But in the online course business, you don't have to necessarily work anymore. It's about being more strategic with your marketing, putting your course on evergreen, having different upsells. So I teach in Course Launch Academy how to create a strategic program suite. And you don't necessarily have to have a program suite. You could make a million dollars from one course. But when you have a few different offers, you can serve people at different price points. And so if somebody is a way, way, way beginner and they're not ready for your bigger course, if you have a lower ticket option and something that is geared more towards beginners, that's their entry point. They're going to come in with that cheaper option that's at their level. They're going to consume it. And then 20% of those people are going to move on to your next offer and buy that offer, consume it. And then 20% are going to then move on to the next offer. So when you have multiple things to sell, you are maximizing the lifetime value of each lead, of each customer. So you have one customer come in and they work through all of your offers. It's not like you're out there constantly looking for new leads. Now, yes, you have to create these offers, but they could be very easy. It could be like just a masterclass is your entry point, a one hour training. It could be something that you create in Canva, like some sort of guide or done for you template that they work through on their own. So you're bringing people in at that lower price point, but then they are naturally ascending through your course suite and moving on to each bigger offer. Or you have people who come in in the middle, like they're ready for your mid-level option, they're ready to invest that amount of money, or your higher level option. So when you have different things to offer that don't require your one-on-one time, they're self-paced, it's very easy to bring more people in because they're buying at different levels, they're buying different offers, working through different offers, you're serving more people, but again, you're off living your life. They're buying these things, they're consuming them on their own, they're buying the next thing, consuming them on their own, and you aren't actually on calls with them or working shifts or putting in more time. So it becomes very, very easy to scale your income after you've created that first offer, right? Once you create the first offer and you nail it and you understand what you're doing, it's easy to then duplicate it and create more offers. And again, they don't have to be full-blown courses. They can be very short little micro offers. And I teach this in Course Launch Academy, how to really get your first offer off the ground, but strategically build your program suite and scale your income.
And again, I want to address this fear of I don't have anything to teach. I guarantee you do. Every time someone tells me that, especially friends or neighbors or people that I meet in real life, you know, we'll sit down and I'll tell them what I do and they'll say, oh, I'd love to do that, but I don't have anything to teach. And after me spending five minutes with them in a conversation, I then have five different ideas for them. I'm like, oh my gosh, you could teach this, 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 and this is how you market it. So if you want that experience, right, start with my free training. It's linked. You can always reach out to me and we can chat, but... I truly believe that everybody has something to teach. And in today's world, it's just silly for you to not be teaching and monetizing it. I mean, why would you not say yes to passive income? And it does not require a lot of time to create a course. You can beta launch a course, which is when you don't have anything ready. You literally do not have the course created, but you enroll your founding students and you create the course with them. So if you're like, I don't have a lot of time to devote to this, you don't need it. And I recommend creating a course that is that is no more, that it takes you no more than 60 days to create a course. So the timeline that I give students is 30 to 60 days, depending on their topic, how much time they feel like the topic deserves in order for their students to get transformations and the warmth of their audience. So what I teach in Course Launch Academy is how to build your course while also building your audience at the same time so that you have a really successful launch. And your content on social media as you're building your audience is very aligned to your course, right? You're in the zone. If you were just creating social media content just to create it, and you really have no idea what your course is about, right? There's a disconnect. But when you're in the zone of creating your course, you're like, oh, this is a great topic. I'm going to post about this on social media. So your whole social media becomes aligned with your course and you start attracting the right students and you start warming up your audience so that when it is time to launch and you're like, hey guys, here's this amazing course, they're ready for it. They've been consuming that content. They're warmed up. They're ready to buy. And of course, there's different launch strategies which I provide in my course, but I wanted to point that to, to really be clear about that because the number, the, the two main hesitations and objections I get from people are one, I don't have a topic and two, I don't have the time. And those are both bullshit. They're lies. You do, you have a topic and you have the time to do it. There are different ways to launch depending on your schedule and the energy that you have and the capacity that you have. So we can figure out what is best for you. And you can learn about those in my free training. So anyway, the eight reasons that you should create a course immediately as soon as possible is so that you can be more in control of your time and your schedule to protect your energy so that you can experience those cash injections and recurring profits and passive income. You can say no to the things that you don't want to do that drain you. You can say no to one-on-one -on -one clients or pre-qualify one-on-one -on -one clients and only work with the best of the best, the ones who've gone through your course and are ready to invest at a higher level. And then most importantly, it allows you to scale your income. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I have your wheels turning, a light bulb went off in your head. You're like, okay, Ashley, I think I want to do this. You have me sold. Head to the link for my free training. Or if you're ready to dive into Course Launch Academy, we'll put that link in the show notes as well. But thanks for being here. Get out there, make those money moves, and I will catch you in the next episode.